Hey guys, it's James with 317 Vapors. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and dry burn the Kanger Pro Tank. So bear with me, let me get this set up and we'll get right into it. Alright, first you unscrew the bottom here, upside down obviously. Pull your head out, set it off to the side. Get you some water running and just rinse out the tank. Alright, after you get the tank rinsed out, you're going to take the base and run it in under water too. Make sure to get down in that the center hole there too. Then after you get it rinsed out, you want to take the silicone cap right here off. If you need to, get some pliers. My fingers are too big to get in there. Pull that silicone cap off. Set it to the side. And then on this tank, your head just unscrews. Like so. Now we've got it all rinsed out. You want to pull this cap off. This base, like I showed you, unscrews. But we're going to leave it in the base for now. You just take the top, the knurled edge, and grab the bottom and wiggle. It's a little tight, but it'll pop right out. That shaft will come out of the base, which will expose your wicking coil. Now be careful when you do this because there's two what's called flavor wicks on there on top of the coil. I only have one. Pull that flavor wick off and save it. Alright, now that that's been rinsed out really good. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see in there very well. But inside there it's really like black and cruddy looking. That's the stuff we want to get off now with the dry burn. It's been rinsed. We're going to put everything, we're going to paper towel dry everything. Just dab everything with paper towel. Get those, try to get the wicks, but don't move them. And just dab it with paper towel to, on the edges and just to soak up some of that water that's left in those wicks. And then you can shake it and get any water out. Take the blow on a little bit. You want to dry the the head. Get that silicone cap, wipe it off. And then you want to dry the tank itself, shake it out. Alright, now we're going to assemble this all back together without the, without the wicks and we're going to blow it out. Just put everything, snap it all back together, screw it back in the base, and just blow it out. And I'll screw it again. Pop your head back off. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that head that we just cleaned off and dried off real good. Without the flavor wick. And screw it on. And our device should be set at 3.5 or 3.7 volts to start off with. And then you just want to pulse the battery.
you can see after a couple of times, you know, blow on it to help blow the crud off that's burning off, but blow on a little bit and you can see it starting to light up. If you have a variable voltage device, turn it up just a little bit, maybe like 3.8, 3.9. You really get those to glow good, clean them off real good. And that's dry burning. You can tell just after a few burns. Just how clean those really are. So much cleaner in there and you can see it glowing really good now. My camera's not going to focus, of course. But anyways, that's that. So then we want to put it all back together and we don't forget about that flavor wick because it needs to go on next. Then we want to place that flavor wick right back on top. Be careful because when it's dry, it is kind of, it'll want to separate. It's on top now, on top of that coil. It comes with two, sometimes three. If you're using thicker juices like 50-50 VG, higher VG juices, you might want to take one of those out, one or two. If it has three in there, take two of them out and it'll help. You won't get so many dry, dry hits off of it. But anyways, then we want to take this cap and just press it back in there. And it just snaps right back in there. And we don't forget about our o-ring it just or our silicone gasket it just slides down over the top push it all the way on there and then we got our tank and we just screw it back together well there you go guys that's how you clean and dry burn your kinker pro tanks if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope this video was helpful and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all my new videos. Thanks for watching.